Assisted Lab, Troubleshooting a Security Issue Troubleshooting a security issue is often a complex task because there are many different systems that could be preventing access or that are misconfigured to allow access when it should be blocked. These systems include authentication, execute and configuration privileges for users and services, file system permissions slash ACLs, network firewall ACLs, host firewall settings, and anti-malware slash intrusion detection slash data loss enforcement policies and modules. You need to know how to locate configuration information and how to access log data to diagnose these issues accurately. To complete this lab, investigate the cause of a support case where a user cannot use a file share that they are supposed to have right access to. Objectives This activity is designed to test your understanding of and ability to apply content examples in the following CompTIA server plus objectives. 4.1 Explain the troubleshooting theory and methodology. 4.6 Given a scenario, troubleshoot security problems. 0% tasks complete. Next, identify the problem. Identify the problem. A user has reported that the file share they normally have access to isn't working. You decide to start by having the user reproduce the problem. To troubleshoot issues effectively, you must approach problems in a structured way and ensure that you can select appropriate tools and information sources to help to diagnose the problem. On the first point, make sure that you are familiar with the steps in the CompTIA troubleshooting model. The first steps are as follows. Identify the problem and determine the scope. Establish a theory of probable cause, question the obvious. Test the theory to determine the cause.
Again, the share will open but no files will be visible and you will not be able to create files. Sam's account relies entirely on extended ACL attributes for access. Jamie's account has PUSIX permissions on the directory because the local admin account is listed as the group owner. Establish a theory. The fact that you can access one share, public, but not the other suggests that this is not a network problem. Nevertheless, in the interests of being thorough, let's scan the server to see which ports it is exposing. There are two pages within this admin app that will tell us at a glance exactly what the problem is. Optionally, take a minute to find one or both of them. However, assuming that we want to thoroughly review this service configuration, continue your investigation by investigating firewall settings. Select the terminal node. In Linux, the NetFilter module enforces network ACLs. There are many different tools for managing NetFilter, however. Iptables and its modern version tables are well suited to configuring NetFilter as a network firewall, where traffic is principally being forwarded through the host. Firewall slash firewall CMD and of uncomplicated firewall are well suited to managing NetFilter as a host firewall. The former is more typical of servers and is installed on this one. Run the following command to check that the firewall is running.
Establish a plan of action. Once you have diagnosed the problem, you must plan and implement a solution. Recall the CompTIA troubleshooting model steps in this context. Establish a plan of action to resolve the problem. Implement the solution or escalate. When you plan a solution, you must consider the effects on the network, especially in terms of security. In this scenario, it seems pretty clear that SE Linux was improperly reconfigured, for whatever reason, so we will just apply the correct policy again. SE Linux is a system for enforcing mandatory access controls by labeling objects with a particular security context. Uses outside of those contexts are blocked. Samba file sharing is defined as a known type, so we just need to apply that to the shares mount point. While we have applied a fix without engaging in too much planning, in more general terms, establish all the facts before implementing the solution. What if the policy had been changed by another technician to remediate a security breach? When troubleshooting, it is easy to become too narrowly focused on the immediate problem. Make sure you take advantage of all documentation and information about current system state. If these resources are not available, establish a plan to implement them. 92% tasks complete. Previous next, verify full system. Verify full system functionality. With the solution applied, recall the CompTIA model steps that complete the troubleshooting process. Verify full system functionality and, if applicable, implement preventive measures. Perform a root cause analysis. Document findings, actions, and outcomes throughout the process. Open File Explorer and verify that you can view and modify files in the backslash backslash smb10 backslash public share. Think about how documentation and communication can prevent these kinds of issues. Why was the SE Linux policy changed and who by? Why wasn't the change communicated or documented? If your management procedures ensure that these kinds of questions don't have to ask, your networks will be much more secure and reliable. 100% tasks complete. Previous next, review lab.
Review Lab. Answer the following comprehensive questions to ensure that you recognize the importance of the activity steps and the uses for the information you have learned. What is the best classification for the problem that was investigated in this lab? Cannot access network file shares. File integrity. Unable to open files. Applications will not load. Improper privilege escalation. Correct. Which of the following troubleshooting tools were not used? Select two. Remote terminal. Checksum. Port scanner. Sniffer. Firewall. Correct. Which command was used in the lab to report the status of the SMB service? Correct. 100% tasks complete. Previous next, grade lab. A grade lab. That concludes this lab. Please ensure you end it properly rather than just closing the browser window. Once you select submit, you will not be able to return to this lab instance. If you want to repeat the lab, you can launch a new instance from your lab portal. Check all the step boxes above to mark all tasks as complete and make sure you have submitted responses to all the activities. Select submit below to grade the lab. 100% tasks complete. Previous submit.